Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to draw the shear force, the bending moment diagram for this frame structure. As you see here, the one horizontal member is the beam and it takes the load of 10 kN at the center of this beam. And the two are the vertical members known as the column, which are basically the compression members. And they are being supported one by hinge support and the other by rotor support. The column height is 8 meter and the beam total length is 10 meter where the load acting at a distance of 5 meter from one end and 5 meter from the other end. First to draw the shear force and bending moment we have to calculate the support reactions. So this is point A and this is point B. As you can see that the 10 kN load is acting at the center of this beam so it will be equally divided into each support. For example there is a 10 kN so 5 kN will be taken by this support and 5 kN will be taken by this support. If it is not the case, if the 10 kN is not acting at the center of the beam, then you have to calculate about the movement at one support and you have to find the support reactions. But in this case, as the load is acting at the center of this beam, so it will be equally divided. So 10 kN, the 5 kN will be taken by this support, 5 kN, similarly the 5 kN will be taken by the support. So the total resistance will be equal to the total applied load. So 10, lo 10 kN is equal to the 5 plus 5 which is 10 kN. Now after finding the support reaction which is the first step, now I will draw it how to transfer the loads and the frame structure. So first to draw the re reference lines for this frame, this is the beam, you can see here these are the two columns. Now 10 kN is acting here at the center of this beam. 5 kN will be taken by this end and 5 will be taken by this end. Right? Now, now to have equilibrium at this joint is a fixed joint. So 5 kN will also be transferred into this end but in opposite direction. So this joint is now in equilibrium. Similarly, this will act in opposite direction 5 now this joint is also in equilibrium you can see 5 is acting in upward direction 5 is acting in downward direction now this upward force is acting on this column so we have resistance here in the upward direction to this load so it will be resisted by 5 kN you see here that we have 5 kN it should come the same value as we have Ra similarly this load is acting downward direction on this column so we have resistance we have support reactions of 5 kN here. So now we can see here that this load is being supported by this support and this load is being supported by this support. This is the way that how you should transfer the load from the member to the support. Now I will draw the shear force and bending moment. Now I will again draw the reference lines for the frame structure. So you can see here One is the beam and two are the column. The horizontal member is always the beam and vertical members are always the column. And now to draw the shear force is we know that the force is only acting on the beam. So we don't need any shear force and the columns because there is no literal force to create the shear force in these columns. So this we, we will take help to draw the shear force from this diagram. We know that the 5 kN load is acting in upper direction. So this will be moved upward by unit of 5 kN. Now 5 kN and then there is no load acting on this member so we can draw it horizontally up to distance of 5 meter. You can see here up to distance of 5 meter. So up to distance of 5 meter there is no load acting. So horizontal line and then we have load of 10 kN. So 10 so we can take the 5 is acting upward and 10 is acting downward so we should subtract so we get minus 5. It means that we will bring this downward up to the minus 5. This was plus 5 and this is now minus 5. Now again there is no load acting so I draw a straight line and then there is a load of 5 kN acting upper direction so 5 kN in upper direction. And, but this is a negative now. You can see here that I subtract this 5 from the 10 we get minus 5 so I bring this from this position to minus 5 
this is minus 5 kN and then I bring a straight line then again 5 kN so this is the way how to draw the shear force diagram and this total length line the height of the line should be 10 because it represents this load 10 kN now to draw the bending moment diagram for, from this shear force and there is no shear force for the columns because there is no literal force acting on this column which makes the shear force so now to draw the bending moment I will again draw the reference lines the bending moment always we can always make the bending moment from the shear force just to find the area of the shear force so as you can see here that this is a rectangle and we can draw here that this distance is 5 meter this distance is 5 meter and the height of the rectangle is 5 kN so 5 is the height of the rectangle and length of the rectangle is 5 meter so we can multiply the 5 with 5 we get 25 kN and meter so this is the unit of the moment so by finding the area of this rectangle this is our bending moment diagram there will be zero bending moment diagram because it cannot support any bending moment so starting from here it will increase 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 and maximum bending moment will occur at this point which is the area of this rectangle 5 is the height and then is 5 25 25 kN Newton meter now similarly the length of this rectangle is 5 kN is the height and length is 5 meter you can see here there is a 5 meter but this one is negative so we should subtract this one from the positive so 25 is also in negative direction so subtracting this value from there we will get 0 at this support which means that this support also don't have any moment similarly if you have 0 moment so you cannot transfer any moment to this point in this point so we will have 0 moment at each point this is the way how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the frame structure with a concentrated load. Hope you guys understand. If you have any question, please comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.